died down a little bit over the last hour, but I still feel overwhelmed. I glance at Walt and the king, who are still speaking. They've just been going off for an hour. <laughs> Walt is the, telling everyone's life story. The basic <laughs> points. Cute. The basic points still going for an hour. Okay. Every time the king sees me looking at him, he flashes me an uncertain smile before glancing away. Oh, that's comforting. I know he wants to speak with me, but I will talk to him after, after I can get Fritz's body out of my mind. It was my fault he died, wasn't it? He saw me and stumbled. Hey, princess. What are you doing here? Yeah, I thought you changed, but you still got some feistiness. Oh, I think that's a hard word to say. Feistiness? <laughs> yeah, in a British accent. <laughs> feistiness. Feistiness. Oh, feistiness. <laughs> in you, don't ya? Many years ago, when the, the war ended, we were all faced with a feeling just like this princess. We had lost so much, and the, and the future seemed so grim. But now it's different. You have a future. Wow. You broke your curse, princess. That is something uh, that gives you some kind of hope. And in addition, you broke karmas. Memory of Claw's arms around me, of his lips on mine, come flying back into my froggy mind. Thank you. Okay, I get it. I messed up. <laughs> Leave me alone. My heart. Oh, you can put it in again. <laughs> Yay! My heart still feels tight, but it's a little later when I think about him. I wish he were Look here right go. now. Look at him go. <laughs> go. <laughs> How did I break Claude's curse? Claude, I don't think I'll ever get used to his real name. Seems like he hasn't told you yet. I guess it's been pretty hectic. Hectic. So, Claude turned into a beast because he loved me? Hmm. Well, I guess I could give you the lay down of his curse. About time. Haha, <laughs> oops. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Desist. Dolores has not even started to speak when Claude runs to the room, gasping as if he's been running through the halls. Because he probably has been. Yeah. Curse? <laughs> Are you speaking of my curse? Why do I want to punch him? Oh my god, this looks like me! <laughs> There's no way he heard us talking about it in the hallway, is there? Still got that beast hearing. <laughs> I have, even I feel a loss of words right now. <laughs> I sense you might be talking about me. Okay, buddy. I don't love the narcissist. It's coming back. Oh, but I it's love that moment so much. Just you. him running in like, don't you dare <laughs> explain it. But I'm like, the one who gets to explain it, can't not you. See him, can't you see him like running in and then he does like one of those slides where he's like kind of in like a lunge to the side and like rolls up right next to them? <laughs> he's like, hey. <laughs> like that's what I imagined. Oh yeah. <laughs> the princess was just asking me about your curse. Oh, then I was right to go running. And here I was, just guessing at what you might be talking about. Man, just ran in here just to guess. I can't. It's him just screaming because he could. Karma, uh, I mean, Ka Claude's curse. Was, now I'm talking to myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was based off the tale of Bibi and the Beast. Claude easily finishes her sentence. Delora holds up her hand as if t as if in surrender. She's like, I'm, I'm done, boys. So eager to steal the spotlight. You learned nothing. This is just him. Well, you are talking about me, after all. Oh, wow. Jeez. You always told... fair. <laughs> you always told me that your curse was just the beauty's curse, though. Well, yes. Because the other half was a little difficult to explain, wasn't it? He Not has... really. <laughs> he has a point. Though I think he might still have been able to say it. I think he might have been it. Save us all some trouble if he hadn't been so secret about a curse. Oh Basically, God. stop being dumb. He, he really must have been scared that I would shun him. Well, I don't mean. Uh, allowed. <laughs> I pass it to you. Allow me to explain, Princess. In the fairy tale, a prince of a kingdom is transformed into a beast because his heart is as cold of his, uh, as ice. Sounds sounds familiar to a certain ice princess, eh? Wow, thanks. Canadian now? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to lighten the mood. Plot size. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I would call Alexis something far more flattering, but like my sweet beloved. Oh gosh, please stop! <laughs> we were talking about your curse. Oh right. Well, 
Anyway, the witch who cursed the prince in the tale tells him that he has to learn to, lo learn to love and be loved before the petals of a rose completely fall off. A rose? Yes. She gives him a rose, and he keeps it protected under some glass. Some time passes, and the rose continues to wither away. A maiden finds the beast, and eventually the two fall in love. At the end of the tale, she confesses her love to the beast and transforms back into the human. By confessing, I saved you? But his curse was different from the tale. All of them are! Yep. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> that my curse was somewhat different. Well, no kidding. It was more... complicated. It was backwards. The witch made it so that I was both beauty and the beast. She said it suited me because I was so vain. Wow. The witch constructed a very roundabout curse. Any woman who falls in love, who falls, any woman who falls for me falls in love with me as the beauty. And when I transform into a beast, the enchantment would break, and they would become terrified of me. I doubt Claude ever, ever thought he would break his curse. The love woman felt for him while he was cursed was always fake. How could that kind of love hold strong when he turned into a beast? It was never true to begin with. Then you came along, princess. I bet he just given up hope, and he was waiting for you to dispel the curse on your birthday. But now, here you both are. But the ice princess, in love, <laughs> what a miracle. Wow. The Lord is roasting wow. her left and right. Wow. <laughs> I turn away embarrassed. It's not a miracle. It's not a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm very glad I met you, Alexis. Lady Dolores' words are the truth. I, I had just given up hope. I never had any hope of breaking my curse. I had thought that the only way to fix it would have been to dispel it to you on your birthday. Or have you dispel it on your it's birthday. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then fine. I came to know you, and... He fell in love. A fairy tale indeed. Delora truly third wheeling right now. <laughs> <laughs> he started out frowning at everyone and everything. You've come a long way, princess. She still frowns, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> That's just a rusty face. Yep. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. You turned out to be pretty okay, princess. Just an okay, princess. Just, just pretty okay. And he turned out to be a pretty okay witch. <laughs> Priceless. <gasps> Do my ears deceive me? A compliment from our little witch. I really oh. wish you said doth my ears. This <laughs> <laughs> you look so surprised. If, uh, but you'll be the new bear. The bear. It's the every bear. bear. <laughs> okay. I'll find Crystal real soon, princess. I expect good things from you. Right. I almost forgot about that part. I'll try my best. Yet another miracle pro proclamation from the little witch. Will the surprises never cease? Before I can snap at Delora again, the king oh, awkwardly okay. interjects. Fourth he wheel. Just Fourth it. wheel. <laughs> can oh, I just no, well, the there too. Oh, fifth wheel. <laughs> fifth wheel. <laughs> Blood Claude's just staring at you like that. Delora's eyes look lifeless. Oh, okay she then. Kind of just looks um, like. <laughs> okay, uh, coming to stand next to us with Waltz by his side. Oh, oh, buddy, <laughs> buddy, <laughs> buddy! Pardon. Like I'm here, I'm the king. <laughs> Pardon the intrusion. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, not to tell you, maj ma you're majestic. <laughs> <laughs> you're majestic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love this conversation right now. Wolves told me that you were cursed. That's why I forgot about you. Yes. Even if it was by curse, I feel terrible that such a thing could have ever happened. I'm not good at masking up voice. It's fine. Horrible. So, I will make it up to you. We can catch up where we yeah, were many, many years ago. And maybe things can be different. Oh. She didn't even know herself. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. What for? For being the way that I was before. For shunning Ophelia and her children. Rod. Oh. Ophelia. Did they bring her back to the Martian? No. 
Ophelia is still here. After the fight was over, she was shown back to her room. She is waiting for Rod and Emmeline to return. Now, would you maybe be willing to tell me this story from the beginning? Pause. Rewind. You just heard the story from, like, Waltz, didn't you, for, like, an hour? I think he wants to hear it from his own daughter. Oh, forget it. Oh, hi, buddy. Um, a little close. Oh, jeez. Oh, like, oh, I want you happy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Perhaps uh, I can fill the gap. Father of the one I'm in love with. Uh, stop it, Claude. Claude? The king looks startled when he stares at Claude. He blinks as if he's just noticed his presence. Oh, and you are. Don't introduce yourself the way I think you're Stop it, stop it, stop <laughs> no it, stop clips. it. Claude elegantly bows before the king. I am Prince Claude of Burger. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's it's pronounced for you, in case you guys you. were wondering. <laughs> no, it's not. It is. Uh, a pleasure to finally meet you, Your Majesty. They lost. The lost prince. The king turns to me with a puzzled look. It's a long story. Claude surprises me by wrapping an arm around my shoulder and pulling me closer to him. Oh, great! Bro, <laughs> everyone looks shocked. shocked. Man's like making a statement like this. May goes mine. up mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like hello, the father of the one I'm in yeah, love stop. with. How about I just stop. make you public? Stop. Okay. <laughs> everyone looks shocked except for Delora, who looks like she's trying not to laugh. Stop it, Delora. <laughs> Oh I god! Mother, no. I feel like my no. <laughs> obligation to help her no. explain the famous. I want to punch him. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't. I feel my face getting hotter at Claude's sudden proclamation. All their eyes are now on me and I suddenly feel like hiding myself. Only Claude would so bluntly say such a thing. Uh... The king looks more shocked than anything. Oh, great. Like, my daughter actually found love. What is did this happen? <laughs> With this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, your majesty, I think we better start at the beginning. I can't. It officially happened, like, maybe an hour ago, an hour and 30 minutes ago. Something yeah. around there. Oh, your daughter slapped me. <laughs> <laughs> And good start, good start, good start. Your, your daughter didn't knock on the door and walked into my room. <laughs> I was able, changed. She, able, she did my makeup. <laughs> you're right. We were able to tell the king everything, save from, from where Varg had disappeared to. No one was sure where he had gone in all the chaos. The night search for him all ended in failure. A lot of explaining had to be done, not just to the king, but also to the people at the tavern. As soon as everything had calmed down, Rod and Emmeline finally went back to the palace. I, po I apologized to them as best as I could, and they seemed willing to try again with me. To try again with me, okay. And I'm willing to try again, too. As for Claude- oh, great. Oh, oh, that was bright. So, you're going back? Are you sure you don't want to come back with- come with- <laughs> <laughs> Are no. you sure you don't Oh no, the robot's back! back. <laughs> Come back. You don't want to come to Burger with me. <laughs> Just for a short holiday. I would love nothing more than to introduce you to my Burger family. <laughs> Why did I have to say thoughts? Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Mother Burger with <which laughs> you. Father I'm... Burger. Well, it's easy probably. Oh, he makes jokes frequently. No. And lava. I told you. I told you. What did you say? Llama? He has a pet llama? <laughs> My brother, Llama. What? Another acronym. <laughs> We're Carva and Lava. I can't. Does your father do these things on purpose? <laughs> I told you he likes jokes. Man, your kid. <laughs> can you imagine just having kids and you're like, huh, you're a joke? <laughs> My brother's real name is Lance, and I was going to bring you back to uh, bring you back and introduce the two of you. And you can tell my little brother how uh, how very charming I am. Oh my gosh, is it just my imagination, or is there is there a glimmer of uh, the, 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 the competition? competition? Yes, got it in his eyes. Wow. As much as I would like to meet your family, 
You have your own of obligations here. And you need to let your family know that you're safe and alive. But the thought of being separated from you... You're not gonna be gone forever. <laughs> I know, you can come back. Plot size before he leans down and plants a kiss on my <laughs> forehead. <laughs> okay, stop it. Oh. I'll miss you. Oh god! No. Stop! Stop no. it! No. no! 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 I am oddly uncomfortable now. <laughs> I am very you uncomfortable. Oddly uncomfortable. You're I'm right very uncomfortable. uncomfortable. I barely got closer to my mic too. Uh, I picked it up. Stop! Too well. It was. It was too. Uh, no! Stop it! You won't be gone that long. Love, that's not how you're supposed to respond. You're supposed to say. My sweet prince, I'll miss you too. Fine then, I'll miss you. Maybe. <laughs> Plot raises an eyebrow at me and then smiles. I'll be back for your birthday. I love you, Alexis. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been a few weeks since Claude left, but I'm impatient. The king has been throwing grand dinners every night in preparation for my birthday, but I can hardly concentrate on anyone else when I'm thinking of Claude. I told him all about... I told him all. Uh, da, da, da. I told him about all the other smaller birthday celebrations. I thought he would be here for them. My birthday is in a few days. When will he come back? Imagine celebrating he just your birthday. Climbs into the window. Yeah, he climbs into the window. Yeah, he climbs into the window. Brilliant. I tried or, like, to he's like standing at the bottom of the tower and like calling up like the <laughs> Rapunzel. <laughs> Rapunzel, yeah, like Rapunzel. I've tried to make tail. <laughs> I've tried to make myself busy mainly by continuing my sword practices with Jerry and Garland. Who both rejoined the order of Calamari. Calamari. <laughs> I forgot what it was. <laughs> Every time I'm around the nights, I think of Fritz. I shall, I shall bring some new flowers tomorrow. If Claude, <laughs> if Claude would return already, we could go pay our respects together. If he return already, we can end. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Alexis, my love, my sunshine, my beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. Betrothed. Whoa. Right. What did y'all get betrothed? Whoa. Huh? Pause, oh. rewind. Claude? I shake my head and try to gather my thoughts. First of all, you didn't knock. That's just the Neither thing. Neither do you. That's just the thing. Just a second, we're not engaged. We may as well be, don't you think? Whoa, buddy. Are she... you proposing right now? What's buddy, happening? Buddy, she's not even 18 yet. You're like, you gotta wait. At least, at the very least, knock before you come in. Still worried I would come in on you in the middle of changing oh my gosh would oh you have mind so terribly Claude, Claude yes is he of age yet <laughs> just a few We're more days this thing <laughs> you blush why are you even you here <laughs> his arrival was so sudden i have and i have absolutely no time to prepare bro you're like oh my god what is he gonna be here when and then you oh appear god, so you're, you're like oh right? gosh Claude <laughs> sighs dramatically <laughs> He just heard her thinking about him, just materialized. <laughs> no, I mean, you didn't even write to say you'd be back today. I, I just wasn't expecting you. I did say I would be back for your birthday. I am a man of my word. Should I have stayed out longer? <laughs> yes, get out, go. <laughs> like, <Because>. what? <laughs> no, of course not. I grumble as karma. Uh, karma, whoa. Claude walks over to my bed, grinning. Whoa. Yeah. He sits oh down on my bed next to me and wraps an arm around my waist, pulling me closer. I sigh out and lean my head on his shoulder. It is a startling contrast to what it used to be. Before, if I touched him, he would flinch and turn away from me. Now, he's always right next to me. Claude's whole body seems to relax when I tentatively, tentatively wrap my arms around him and hug him back. The sounding out. <laughs> Shush! <laughs> I was like, wow, she got all those T's. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! I knew I would miss you, but it was really- it really was terrible being away from you. But you enjoyed the time with your family. I did, and my brother was very frustrated that I spoke with you almost hour of the day, every hour of the day. Oh. How could you have said- how could you have had that much to say about me? Oh? I felt that I didn't have enough time to list off all of your virtues. Oh my gosh. I nudge him in the arm, but he just grins at me. I feel bad for his little brother, because his, like, his big brother just came back, and he's like, I got a kidding. girl. I just <laughs> feel bad for the brother named Plama. He just, like, burst into the drill. Guess who finally got one? <laughs> You're being cursed 
get away from He comes Stop. back. That's the first thing he says, and all of his fans is like, Stop. You've been missing I would for so die many years. You saw you and died, you and you come back, bragging it behind I you now, can't. finally have a girl. I can't. Just... <laughs> all right. Um, a glint of, from Claw's pocket catches my eye, and I flush proudly when I notice the rose locket. Looking at the locket makes me think back to the night when he transformed Zack into a prince. Lost in thought, are we? I was just noticing the locket. Well, it should be allowed to turn into a beast He's... form occasionally. Whoa. You should have control. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. I was just noticing the locket. You still carry it around with you. Of course I do. It has become one of my most valuable possession. He pulls the little locket out and pops it open. I'm startled when I see the small sheet of paper with my own words on it. My message to him is still there. Claude smiles as he reads the words aloud. A normal rose would have withered, so I offer this one instead. A heartfelt thanks. I say nothing when he turns to look at me. Oh ho! Oh. There, your, che your cheeks are red. I hated that so much. Oh, uh, me too. <laughs> your embarrassment is adorable, darling. I'm not embarrassed. I just didn't think he'd keep the words in there, or that they would ever mean so much to him. Yes, of course. You just have become exceptionally. Ro you have exceptionally rosy cheeks. Hmm. He pauses as he, closes, as he closes the locket again and looks at it fondly. I have left this locket because it was the first gift you ever gave me. He was holding the locket as the beast too. It was half the reason I recognized him. I jump as Claude gently taps my nose with his finger. Boop. <laughs> this locket isn't going anywhere anytime soon, so I can assure you. I smile as he winks at me. Anyway, allow me to pull you back into the present. Since I promised you no more secrets, let me tell you something. Oh? Cloud looks away from me, his eyebrows furrowing, and I frown. I hope it's nothing serious, it's so not. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm nervous about sitting down to with dinner with your father. Brilliant! You're... nervous? I start laughing without even meaning to. <laughs> You're laughing at my pain, princess. He pulls me closer. Not... What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we are. Sorry, buddy. Um, <laughs> he pulls me closer and kisses the top of my head. I, I mean, he's like, he right... was, like <laughs> saying that, like that he like like sprawled out, like. <laughs> yes, legit. <laughs> Can we like acknowledge though, like he has a right to be intimidated because like when the king went on screen, like he was so much taller than everyone else. Oh, you right. Like yeah. just That's imagine, fair. like. Oh my god. Imagine her to him. Ha! <laughs> we don't talk about it. Karma yeah. can fit. Like, Why did Alexis her head get no height? Chin? Like, imagine if Alexis was like taller than like all of the dudes that like. That would have like, funny. Thingy. That would have been find... amazing. I think Waltz is also taller than her. Yeah, Waltz, Waltz is, is really very tall. tall. Waltz is very tall. You'll no, 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 no. You'll... baby, baby Waltz. Oh, baby <laughs> Waltz. I don't know. No, Waltz? no, he comes. He or like. Were... I think. I don't know. I forget how tall he comes up to. I don't know. Too tall. I know they were good friends because they were talking about their heights. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, but you're too flamboyant to be nervous. I am confident, Princess. Not flamboyant. There's a difference. Is there? Right, right. <laughs> Claude's expression grows more solemn. He looks at me seriously, almost sadly. Alexis... I'm still sorry about lying to you. The whole time I made myself up to be someone beautiful. Someone I wasn't. I believed I truly was a good person on the inside, and that I deserved good things, even though it was selfish. He's already apologized to me before, too many times. Claude, you don't have to apologize. No, that witch was right to curse me. I've always had everything handed to me on a silver platter. When I came to ENG, I believed that if I was going to help, if I, ugh, if it wasn't going to help break my curse, it wasn't important. And then I met you. At first, I thought it would have just, uh, it would just have been. Uh, <laughs> at yeah, first, we're almost done. <laughs> I thought I would, would just have to get on your good side so you could help me dispel my curse. But then, Alexis. I realized I was drawn to your confidence and commitment. What was she committed to? <laughs> right? He was committed to breaking her curse. 
<laughs> also to being partners with him. Yeah. Um, like, she could have backed more. out at any time, but she, like, stuck with it. Mm -hmm. But I can never admit that I was in love with you. I was so scared that if I transformed into a beast and you were scared of me, I would lose my chance at winning your heart. And breaking my curse. Yeah. So, you see, princess, I was selfish. I wanted all of you without having any time, or without having to give you all of me. I look down at where our hands are intertwined, and I grip his fingers tighter. I've told you enough times now that you have nothing to apologize for. But if you insist on apologizing, maybe you ought to do something to make it up to me. Those words are out of my lips before I can even think of them. I stop suddenly, trying to ignore the hot flush on me. You cheeks. said that to a narcissist. Yeah. I pray for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Claude looks at me, puzzled, and for a few moments I feel triumphant that I've caught him off guard. Then the puzzled look fades, and Cla Claude just grins at me. Oh my, so forward. And that's where you punch him. Abort! 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 What, forward? I open my mouth to apologize when suddenly he grabs my hands and tags me down onto the bed. Whoa, oh, buddy! Oh no, wait, oh, wait, no, hold it's on, not, wait. It's pure, I'm, I promise, it's pure, I'm I promise! Aware. I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm aware. Would, the instant Claude taught me and my sword fighting are quickly overwhelmed by my surprise, and in no time at all, he has me pinned down on the bed and is looming just above me, smiling. I promise, it's okay, I oh. promise. Oh, I kind of hate her smile. Yeah, same. I'm disappointed. Princess, you knew my weakness, and you didn't even exploit it there. Your weakness? Yes. He leans closer to me, and our noses almost touch. They are touching, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> They're past each other. <laughs> <laughs> my weakness is you, Alexis. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's you. <laughs> okay, that's stop. not cute. That, no, is, that is horrible. Really that, that, that is, is horrible. horrible. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> he leans down Watch and our lips tape over your mouth me. Right I relax into the contact, my earlier tension melting away as warmth throws, flows through me. Oh, please stop smiling like that. I'm just waiting for him to walk and in. smiles at me. Yeah, that would be <laughs> hilarious. You see, I let my guard down in front of you. I let my guard down in front of him too. And only him. This whole time, all I've wanted to, is to do is to be able to touch him like this. His fingers move gently up my arm and he leans down to kiss me again. Yes! <laughs> Brilliant! Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad, how you doing? The sound of knocking startles us both. A muffled voice comes through the door. It's made A. <laughs> Princess, the king is requesting your presence down in the dining hall. He says that your friends have arrived. Oh, that's awkward. Princess? Don't come in. Respond, no, don't come in. Respond. Don't come in. I hear the doorknob begin to turn and I quickly speak. Yes, I'll be there in a minute. I will let him know, princess. First the curse, now this. It is as if the world is conspiring against us. He kisses me once more on the forehead before slowly sitting up and running his hand through his hair. I catch the mischievous look in his eyes as I smooth down my own ruffled hair. Oh, wow. Don't worry, Alexis. We'll just finish this later. Oh my gosh. I feel my cheeks flush. You say some something things. I'm caught. Thank you. Claude chuckles before he stands up and offers his hand. I take it and smile up at him. I love you, Alexis. And now, I get to say it as many times as I'd like. Technically, Oops. like, he's a prince from another kingdom, and yeah. that probably would do well exactly, with, Exactly, like, that's what I was line. thinking on. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking that too. It's very gonna, convenient. It's really convenient. Say, it would have been hilarious if someone did walk into the room and Claude just links himself off the bed and just rolls under it. <laughs> Why do we need that? I'm, I'm also confused of why he's nervous for dinner whenever he literally just is like, and arm? <laughs> well, I, think yeah. still, I think he was still running on adrenaline. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and also, in that situation, he wasn't required to stay. So if the king did react in a way that he saw, like, oh, that's not good, he could easily book it. Yeah. That's fair. Alright, yeah. moving on. Oh, gross. I love you too, Claude. <laughs> <laughs> I stand him on my toes to plant a quick kiss Just on his lips before heading <laughs> to the door. On his lips? On You have to be on your shippy toes to reach his- okay. Look, she's short, okay? She's me. Let's go, Claude. You would've been so good if she got a chat so I, I just yeah. love Yay! Oh. This last Ready for the bad ending? Is literally an hour long. 
Yeah, we're Woo. gonna have to cut out a bit. Yeah, I'll have of, to like, cut our it talking. Out, it's fine. <laughs> ding dong, ding we finished. Dong. How would you guys like it? Give me opinions. Oh, it was, it was, Rod was really better. Sweet. Yeah, Rod was better. <laughs> Can you but, at like, least give me your opinions this. on this one? Karma was better than Rumples, though. Yes, 100%. I would. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Karma's more than Rumples. Is yeah, it yeah. sad that I'm really excited for uh, his bad rounds? <laughs> oh, really? I want to see what happens. I'm very for curious. Karma's. I think it's the most sad in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it can be because I feel like yeah. I feel like this is the best built up relationship that we've kind of seen. So mm -hmm. It's the longest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the second most built up one is the one with Walt, and then Fritz is kind of just like kind of instantaneous, which is weird. Well, they've but... also like I feel like that's easier to justify though because they're like good friends going into the story. Yeah. Yeah, plus Fritz is like the one person that she doesn't hate out of everyone. Yeah. Bruh. So. Oh, uh, beast fucking He boy. never got his pets. He never got I his know. pets. Go give him pets. He <laughs> got back pets. You're right. <laughs> no, I'm just going. saying, I hope um in the next game, when it's uh, Claude Sprout, that he's like wearing the pendant. <gasps> oh, uh, yes. Okay. I don't know, because it was he in his pocket be. the entire time. It might be still be in it, his though. pocket. Yeah. I want to meet his brother. I yes, legit. Though. Brother I want to meet Mama. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to meet, meet his Lama. dad, because this dad has to justify to <laughs> us what he did this to his kids with these names. I, I mean, his dad sounds dad. great, though. Yeah. I know. That's why I want to meet him. <laughs> but, like, just imagine. Llama's probably, probably as snobbish as Claude I used to be. Not. I hope not too. He hasn't had the character development that Claude has. Had. Yeah, no. Because like Claude was like mentioning like competition with his brother. <gasps> Three hot. down. Bruh. It is. That's hot. Just like smack like a black screen over Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like what Rumble. Good, <laughs> Carmen. We have one more picture. Yeah. The sad one. <laughs> The sad one. Y'all ready to die? <laughs> yeah. Someone's dying. That's why his I'm really bad ending for. is so short, though. I'm yeah, real. his long. His his was so long. His bad ending is really quick, though. His death is very quick. Oh, that's depressing. Ugh. Oh no. Oh, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed. Um, now we're starting Fritz's rap. Yeah. After the bad end. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, after the bad end. Bad end first, then Fritz's rap. Crazy. But we hope you guys enjoyed. Stay sweet and we'll see you guys again later. Goodbye! Bye! Bye. You see on to the Roblox server croissant. What? I just heard the word croissant. You see on to the Roblox server croissant. Oh! I get. I see what you mean now. It oh does. It does look like a croissant. I can't. Baby, while we're young.